The 670 horsepower beast of a Corvette is actually really special. That's because of this. This 5.5 liter flat plane crank V8 engine that GM developed. The way they built this engine is actually pretty ingenious. They bought a used wrecked Ferrari engine from Poland on eBay and then used that to build this engine from ground up. And this engine truly makes this a supercar, not just supercar like, but a real American supercar. This car is basically a C8 Corvette, but better, bigger, more aggressive in every way possible. They even tell you who built this supercar's engine, handcrafted by Robert Hodge. The front end is a lot like the regular Corvette C8, except this is much bolder. And there's also a surprising amount of ground clearance to where you can actually drive this thing on regular streets. And because this is a fire breathing monster, you have a huge air intake here. Corvettes have come such a long way. This right here is truly a beautiful machine. These are absolutely humongous 21 inch wheels with even wider rubber, more than a foot wide. You need that kind of rubber to keep this car stuck to the ground as you pass McLarens, Ferraris, Lamborghinis on a track. In my other video of the C8 Corvette, I talked about how much I love that car. I just can't believe that GM managed to create an even better C8 with this Z06. I don't think GM gets enough credit for the kind of innovation that they put in to build this masterpiece. With the C8 Corvette, I never liked how the tailpipes were all the way out by the rear wheels. This one looks much better, all grouped together in the center. Gives the back end of the car a much better look. This is a really interesting looking spoiler. Looks like a tray where you could put some food on it, but it's gotta be functional. The interior is pretty much the same as a C8 Corvette, a jet fighter inspired cockpit layout. This is a very attention grabbing car with the blue exterior color orange belt and orange stitching. The seats have great support and great bolstering, which you're gonna definitely need because there is no normally driving this car. When you get in the Z06, you're gonna wanna throw it around turns. You push on this button to open up the door, but thankfully there's a physical way of getting out if the electronics stop working. You have some pretty cool graphics when you open up the door and get inside the car. A little something to remind you of what you're dealing with. You have tucked in buttons in the door panel to open both the front and the rear trunks. This car has an absolutely insane startup exhaust noise. Big thanks to my friends at Covert Buick GMC for letting me take this car out for a spin. This car is so insanely loud. Definitely one of the loudest cars I've driven yet. I thought the Corvette C8 was close to being a supercar, but this actually is a supercar. I love how you can hear all of the mechanical parts inside the engine. This truly feels like a race car. This kind of reminds me of the Porsche GT3 RS I drove not too long ago. It has that same kind of race car feel to it. But the big difference is the GT3 RS basically is a race car. This one feels more of a normal car, so you could actually drive this around. The ride on this is definitely stiffer than the C8. It just feels ready to go at a moment's notice. I have to say, this is a pretty intense driving experience with all this noise, and it's very thrilling. You got this very quick dual clutch transmission that shifts quickly. There's no way that I could even experience 0.001% of what this car can do on regular roads. There's just an animal in there waiting to be unleashed. But just like the C8 Corvette, there is a tame aspect to it where this could be just a regular cruiser, although the C8 would be a lot more comfortable than the Z06. One of the things I like about Corvettes is this one specifically is a supercar basically, but it's not hard to drive. Corvettes just make it easy for anyone to go in and not feel intimidated to just drive and enjoy these cars. Uh. Jeez. <laughs> Zero to 60 in a little over two and a half seconds. I'm glad this has a heads up display because illegal speeds in this thing is not a problem whatsoever. As you depress the accelerator, it's almost like the exhaust turns up a notch or two and gets into extreme beast mode level. The speed in this thing is absolutely bonkers. <laughs> uh -huh.
This is the most fun I've had in a car in a long time. 8600 RPM redline, absolutely nuts. <laughs> oh man. Endless amounts of speed. There's no shortage. What an unbelievable driving experience. People talk a lot about the Plaid S and its insane acceleration, and even though the Z06 might not be quite that quick, when you add those exhaust noises and the V8 and the way they've built this car, I don't think there is a comparison. Thank you, GM, for building this amazing machine. This 2023 Z06 is such a cool car. It's really the finest in American automotive engineering. This might cost you $120,000, $30,000, but for that price, it's still an absolute deal. You get an American exotic with an engine that you would find in a Ferrari, but you can buy the Z06 for so much cheaper. That's a pretty good deal if you ask me. Kudos to GM for putting this thing out there.